You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Hello my darlings, how you all doing? Hope you're doing really, really well. Welcome back to another video. Today it's a Primark haul. Uh, I did tell you in the last video that I'd been to Primark and it's quite a big one, I'm not gonna lie. I've got a little bit of everything. I've got a few bits of homeware, a little bit of makeup and skincare, body care, um, clothes, shoes, a bag. So yeah, there's a little bit of everything. So, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll stick around and click the little subscribe button down below and pop on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I do upload, which is normally two or three times a week. Sometimes I pop in a little bonus video um, and I do everything from hauls to home. And everything in between it's a lifestyle um, channel fashion beauty get ready with me vlogs charity shops uh, we love a bargain round here so if that's your bag then please stick around and also don't forget to give me a like and I'd really appreciate it so with that all being said let's get into today's Primark haul right I think I will start. I've got one thing that I picked up from Poundland, which I forgot to show you in my last video because it was in the Primark bag. But it's just a little pair of cycling shorts. Now, I don't really like this gold writing down the bottom, uh, down the side. It says downtown. Uh, but I thought with a nice big baggy T-shirt... Just for in the motorhome, you know, when, oops, when we're away, oh, pick that up, when we're away, just something um, to throw on, do you know what I mean? Even if it's just backwards and forwards to the shower or, you know, just that kind of thing. And these were a fiver. So they're all right, nice and stretchy, and I got them in a size medium. Um, and also, they'll be ideal for under um, dresses, you know, to stop the uh, the legs rubbing together. <laughs> so that's the only thing that I picked up from Poundland. Right, let's get into Primark. I'll start with the home bits first, and I'll do the clothes, all the little bits first, and I'll do the clothes last. So I picked up some of these little bunny tails. Now, these were only £4.00. And I bought, do you remember that little vase that I showed you from Home Bargains that I was going to put the, the white uh, hydrangeas in? Well, I think they're going to be a bit too much for that vase. So I saw these and I thought these would be perfect in that little vase, you know, the same kind of style. So I just, I'll just have to trim them down a little bit. And I think they'll look really nice in that vase. And I thought for four quid, how many do you get? I'd say there's about a dozen in there, maybe 15, because there's some down inside as well. So, yeah, really like those. And then I also picked up this teeny tiny candle. <laughs> it's only a little one. They haven't got the bigger ones. I did want a bigger one as well, but I might have a look online to see if I can find one that's a bit bigger. And this was only £1.50. Again, just for on my little bed trays, just to change them up a little bit. And it's the the lady shape, shaped candle. No scent or anything, but I thought for £1.50 that was quite cute. And then I also picked up this little um, plant pot. This was reduced from £6 to £3. And I thought, you know, that trailing... Um, plant that I bought from Home Bargains. It'd fit nicely in there and that would look really nice in one of my bathrooms, possibly mine in the, the master bedroom. And I thought for three quid, you can't go wrong, can you? Really like that. And I also picked up this white candlestick. I'm gonna put a pillar candle on there. I haven't got one in here, there's one in the other room. And this was only two pounds and it's, 
I don't know what this material is. I do it every time. <laughs> um, yeah, £2 reduced from, what's that say, three fifty. Uh, again, just for uh, one of the bed trays. And then the last little homey kind of thing that I bought, is it home? Yeah, I suppose it is, was this glass makeup organiser and it was reduced from £10 to £5. So I thought that'd be nice on my dressing table. I know everything's like mirrored silver in there and they haven't got the silver. I thought, well, it, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, I can mix silver and gold together. I do with my jewellery. So I thought that would be ideal just to keep my main little bits in that I, I tend to use every day. Really like that. And I thought that was very much a bargain for a fiver. And this was like, as I was in the queue to pay for my stuff, it was just sat there on its own on one of them little shelves. And it just caught my eye. So, yeah, picked that up. Right, I think we'll move on to um, skincare and makeup and accessories and bits and pieces like that. Picked up a little hair clip, £2, really like that one, it's just like in this baby pink marble effect. And I also picked up some new shades, I couldn't resist these, these were £3. And let me take this off the side, here we go again. <laughs> it really annoys me when they do this, because they stick to the sides. There we go. So they're three pound and they're just in this neutral colour. They need a little bit of a wipe. But I thought they were really nice. Yeah, quite like those. You know, when you've got that kind of neutral outfit on and they've got like the chain detail at the side there. So yeah, really like those as well. And then I picked up a couple of um, body bits. I've got this hydrating body cream from their um, spa range. And this was reduced from £4.50 to £2. Nice body cream. I love a body cream. And from the same range, I picked up this bath oil. And I thought once I've took the stickers off, that'll look quite nice in the bathroom. £4.50 reduced to £2. And then I saw this. Now, I have seen uh, this all over TikTok, which, by the way, is my new obsession. I will leave my TikTok down below if you want to come and follow me. If you are a TikTok user, I'll leave it down. Now, I'll leave it here on the screen. And I'll leave it down, the below as well, down below as well. This, apparently, it's called PS Flawless Glow. It was £5 and I got it in the shade Caramel. Now, according to TikTok, this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter, which I haven't tried. But you know what's coming, don't you? I'm going to get the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to whether they are alike. Uh, yeah, so it's a Radiant Glow Primer Foundation Hybrid. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. So I will have a look for the Charlotte Tilbury. I'll see if it's on Vinted first. If not, I'll order it um, from eBay or somewhere like that. Looking forward to trying it. Uh, I picked up a bag in this beautiful baby pink let me see if i can get this off as well i should have done all this before i started the video shouldn't i but you know me <laughs> i think i'm gonna need the scissors to get that off that plastic off the handle but it's part chain and it's like this mock croc effect and it's part like this normal um pleather strap with this gold chain here and this was eight pounds and it's got a little zip on the top oh it's got another handle inside i didn't know that a longer handle so you can wear it cross body that's what it looks like inside it's just got the little side zip there and you'll see why i bought this in a minute it's to go with uh, a dress that i bought and some shoes so 
really like that. Right, onto the clothes. They had quite a decent sale on at the one in Tam. Uh, no, yeah, at the one in Tamworth. I also went to the one in Telford as well. So these are a mix of the two. Uh, the Helmy bits I got from the Telford store and the jewellery um, uh, makeup organiser I got from the Telford store as well. And I think that was it. Everything else is from the Tamworth store. So they've got quite a decent sale on, on all their little summer tops and dresses and stuff like that. They were selling a lot of the stuff off. So I picked up a few bargains. Now these little bits here for in the motorhome for when we go away this isn't the kind of thing that i wear on an everyday basis but when i'm away on holiday you know i don't mind wearing a crop top or a bikini top and shorts and stuff like that but you know walking around tesco's i tend not to <laughs> so this is the first thing and it's this little uh cropped gingham style top it's got these fluffy sleeves with elastic round there it's a sweetheart neckline and it ruches up so you can have it as short or as long as you like i will have it as long as it goes and it's elasticated around the back as well for comfort and this i got in a size 16 it hasn't got the reduced sticker on but it was reduced from 11 pounds to six pounds and i thought with either a, a white pair of shorts or denim shorts or jeans you know if it's a cooler day that will look really really nice and I love the colour it's like a um, lemon with like a sage green and white going through it absolutely love that picked up a couple of underwear sets now <laughs> when I've got them out I've looked at them again and I thought you know what Max they're not going to cover up very much but the reasoning behind buying them is for when i've done my fake tan so i picked up this one these were reduced from five pound to three pounds i've got it in a size medium and it's just like a thong and a bra comfy bra no bones or anything just like the band around the back and it fastens up like a normal bra uh so yeah I just thought for three quid, they're all right for when I am doing my fake tan. And I got it in the chocolate brown colour as well, which is ideal. You know, so, you know, you're not messing up your, your nice white or nude underwear. So that was the reasoning behind those. Like I say, they're not going to cover much, but they're going to cover up what needs to be covered up after a fake tan. <laughs> right. The next thing is a little shorts set. These, again, I thought, well, I could sleep in them or, again, for on holiday because you know how hot it's been. It's a bit cooler today, actually. So I picked up this little vest top. It's Snoopy. They've got all sorts of different ones. It was, I got it in a size large and it was four pounds. And it's just got Snoopy on the front there with, um, I can't remember what that little bird was called. Anybody know what the little bird was called? I can't remember. The adjustable straps as well. So I thought, yeah, that'll be okay for either sleeping in or just sunbathing in on holiday. And I got the shorts to match. And these are in like a terry toweling kind of material, the little sports shorts. Again, with the Snoopy logo there, which is embroidered. So for four quid, they're really nice. Got the white piping round. Again, I got them in a large and they were four pounds as well. And they've got a drawstring so you can pull them in at the waist. Again, short shorts, ideal for sunbathing or sleeping in, as I said. God, take a breath, Max. <laughs> you haven't come up for air yet. Oh, and I'm looking in the, the camera and I realised that this bra was just not the one with this dress, was it? At all. But still, it doesn't matter, does it? Right, the next thing that I picked up is a little two-piece. Again, it's a little cardigan and vest. This is the vest in this beautiful, like, powder blue colour. I got it in a size large. 
this was reduced from five pounds to three pounds just a little vest with a v-neck this hasn't got adjustable straps or anything but it has got this little cardigan that goes over the top little cropped cardigan long sleeves this in a, in a size large and this was reduced from eight pounds to four pounds so for seven quid i got the little two piece which i think is really nice again for the cooler evenings when we're on holiday with a nice pair of linen trousers i thought that would look absolutely beautiful and it's ever so soft really really nice like that and i think that'll come in for like later on in the year as well in the autumn with a nice pair of jeans yeah like those then I picked up this little top, which is very similar to the gingham one, very similar, but this was reduced to three pounds. It's kind of gingham, as you can see. It's like um, this powder blue color, again, lilac -y blue. I got it in a size 16, but this has got buttons down the front and a little tie here. Again, it's cropped elasticated across the waist the waist no it's not it's not oh, for god's sake get your work elasticated <laughs> elasticated it is around this part here and down to the back but not actually across the back and it's elasticated around the sleeves as well again i thought pair of shorts that will look really, really nice. Last item of clothing. Oh no, I've got two, I've got two. Picked up this little top off the shoulder, bright pink, long sleeves, ribbed, so soft, so soft. Got it in a size medium, reduced from eight pounds to four pounds. Love this color. And I thought with a pair of shorts and those pink sandals that I got from the charity shop the other day, that would look really nice. Again, on the cooler evenings, you know, if you're going out for a drink, really like that. Now, this is the reason I bought the pink bag and I bought some more. I bought two more pairs of pink shoes. I know I've got a problem. I can't help it. <laughs> look at this dress. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in this beautiful baby pink floral detail, puff sleeves, elasticated, shired front, gathered, no, sorry, shired back, gathered front across the boobs. And it's got this lovely, beautiful little frill across there. It nips in at the waist and then it goes all the way down a line i would say let me see where it comes to on me it comes mid sheen mid sheen it's absolutely gorgeous and it's really really soft love it perfect for summer again while i'm away on holiday if we're going out for a meal in the evening and this bag goes perfectly with it and I paid I think this was 15 pounds 13 and I got it in a size 16 and it was 13 pounds and I, I just couldn't resist it and I thought for 13 quid shall I try it on I'll try it on I'll be back I'm back oh this dress looks absolutely beautiful and with this little pink bag and the shoes I've got on which I bought as well to match it it looks beautiful so let me just step back so you can see the dress it's gorgeous the fit a bit because it comes in under the bust you know where you're at your smallest and then it's not really really flared it's more a-line it's so flattering especially with the pleated across here as well around the bust i really really like it and it goes perfect with this little pink bag let me know what you think and then the shoes 
uh, I got these in white, if you remember. And these shoes were reduced from £10 to £5. Don't mind the dodgy tan, I haven't done it. Oh, nice, with the gold chain detail to match the bag in the baby pink. Oh, I absolutely love this outfit. Let me know what you think, guys. It's beautiful. It's really, really feminine as well. The colours and the fit and the flower, the dress. Oh, it's my favourite. It's my favourite. So, yeah, the shoes, they was redu uh, reduced from £10 to £5 in the sale. And as I say, I got the white ones as well. And then the last thing... <sighs> Breathe! <laughs> is another pair of strappy sandals. These would also go with this dress as well um, for a more casual look, I think. And they are just strappy sandals. They fasten up around the back like this. So, you know, that hold onto your feet a little bit more and they're like a knot detail. And these were reduced from six pounds and they was four pounds. They had tons of little sandals in the sale. So many, I could have bought loads, but I thought, you know what, Max, just stop it. There's, there's no need. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think of everything that I got. I've whizzed through it. I think we, oh, well, I don't know how long we've been going now because I've just come back on. I hope the video is not too long. I have tried to get through it as quick, quick as possible. I wonder if you could wear this off the shoulder. Oh, no, no. It's definitely not made for off the shoulder. It's supposed to be on. Not the right bra, as I said, but this is my favourite. Love it. And it looks quite nice with this jewellery as well, don't you think? Yeah, so let me know what you think, guys. Um, yeah, that's the Primark haul all done. I hope you're all okay um, and have been enjoying this weather. How hot has it been now? At night. Oh, God. When I was at our Joshies, I was I was really struggling to sleep because I hadn't got my fan and Joshie's fan wasn't working properly. I couldn't even, it, I don't know whether it was because it was so warm, it was just blowing warm air about. But you know what, it's so nice to get back into your own bed, isn't it, after you've been away for a few days. So I slept really well last night with my fan on full blast. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I have the fan on in the winter because going through the menopause, I suffer really bad with uh, night sweats anyway. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying the weather. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, coming up, I have got a TikTok haul. <laughs> yes, I know. I've been buying off TikTok as well. Um some bargains on the shops on there though oh, honestly there really is so i've got a tiktok haul coming up i'm waiting for one more parcel i have also got a group collaboration coming up hopefully fingers crossed this will be the bonus video tomorrow evening but my parcel hasn't arrived yet it always happens to me always whenever i do a collaboration i'm always the last one to get the parcel i have no idea why so i'm hoping that the parcel arrives by tomorrow lunchtime at the latest because uh, our postman doesn't come till between 12 and 2 and yeah it's a, a sheen collaboration with um, some other beautiful ladies on youtube all of which you are familiar with, I'm sure. But I'll tell you more about that tomorrow, hopefully. If not, that's going to be uh, next week sometime. I have got a 1950s retro clothing haul coming up, which I am so excited about. The items have turned up and they are beautiful. Unfortunately, one of the items doesn't fit me. So I am going to... Um, I'd say it was about a size, it, it, more on the size 12 to 14. I mean, I can normally get in a 14 if it's got a bit of stretch, but this hasn't. 
So I'd say it'll fit a 12 to 14. So if you're that size, keep a look out because I am going to be giving that outfit away and it is stunning, stunning. And, uh, oh gosh, I have got a giveaway to do as well, haven't I? Um, when shall I do that? Because still, people are still commenting on that video. I'll do it sometime next week. You know, the beauty bag with all the beauty items in. I'll do the giveaway for that next week sometime. Uh, what else have I got coming up? Oh, yeah, the 50s retro clothing. Obviously, I want to do a 50s look, hair and makeup. Now, would you like to see me doing that? Get ready with me, 50s style. Let me know down in the comments and I will film the process of getting ready to film that haul. And I could put the makeup up first so you could, you know, you can sit. Because you always do your hair and makeup first, don't you? And then get dressed. So I could put the hair and makeup video up the one day and then the clothing haul the next day. Because I don't want it to be um, too long a video. Right. <laughs> I think I've rabbited on for long enough and I've um, let, you, let you know everything that's going on. Got my nails done. Just went for a classic white tip, which I absolutely love. Love just white tips. Uh, Mum's not too bad. I think we have found a more permanent nursing home for her. That's in the process of being sorted out. I will let you know more in the coming videos. Um, you know, of the move and stuff, but hopefully, again, fingers crossed, we have found somewhere more permanent for her and a little bit nicer because the one she's in at the moment, it's not not that nice at all. So, yeah, guys, I think that's everything. I'm just looking around to see whether I've showed you everything. Yes, I have. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go and check to see whether uh, my sheen parcel has come. What time is it? It's nearly two o'clock, so the, the postman should have been by now, hopefully. Yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already and pop on the notification bell. And as usual... Leave all your lovely comments down below and I'll be catching up with you guys down there. I know I'm useless at the comments at the moment, guys. But as you know, I'm here, there and everywhere. I'm quite busy. I've tried to respond when I can. But I, you know that I love you all and I see every single comment that you do write. So, I'm off to get on with the rest of my day. I love you guys, guys loads. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow, if not see you Friday. Bye!